Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. For over 2,500 years, wax seals were used to authenticate documents in ancient civilizations. I'm going to show you how to create your own old world wax seal embedded with your own initials. This document is 920 by 1080 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I downloaded this image for free from cgtextures.com. Click on the New Layer button and call up your elliptical marquee tool. Go to the center of your document and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag out a circular selection. Click on the foreground color and choose a dark red. I'm picking B52323. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with that color. Let's change the shape to look more like a wax seal. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection and go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. I'm choosing one for the generators, one to 214 for the wavelength, one to 117 for the amplitude, the scale is 100%, the type is sign, and repeat edge pixels. Click on the new layer icon and call back up your elliptical marquee tool. Make another circular selection and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut and copy the shape and place it on its own layer. Hide the wax seal shape and call back up the wave filter. Change the wavelength maximum to 660. This gives the inner part of the seal a more organic shape. Make the overall shape visible and will hide the inner part. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the overall shape. This will make a selection of the shape. Then press Alt or Option as you click on the inner circle to subtract that shape from the overall selection. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut and copy the shape and place it on its own layer. We'll use the overall shape for the shadow. We'll rename the middle layer Shape and the top layer Center. Double click on the shape to call up its layer style window and click Bevel and Emboss. The style is inner bevel and the technique smooth. The direction is up and the size is 50 pixels. The highlight mode is screen and the opacity is 85%. The shadow is multiply and the opacity is 30%. Go to Contour and change it to Half Round. Make the Shadow Layer active and click on the FX button. Choose Drop Shadow and change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn. Make the Opacity 75%, the Distance 5 pixels and the Size 18. Click Outer Glow, change the Opacity to 17% and the Blend Mode Linear Burn. We'll increase the size to 25 pixels. Make the center layer visible and double click it to call up its layer style. Click on Bevel and Emboss and change the direction to Down. Increase the size to 16 pixels. Change the Highlight Opacity to 90% and the Shadow Opacity to 50%. Click Contour and then click OK. Click on the New Layer button and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with the foreground color. Call up your Type tool and then click on the Character Text box. For this seal, I'm choosing a font called Kaiser Zeit Gotic, which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose White. I'm typing BL for Blue Lightning. I want to bring the L down so I'll highlight it and slide the baseline down. Click on your Move tool and press Ctrl or Command as you click on the type to call up its selection. Hide the type and the red layer below it and go to Select and Transform Selection. Resize and reposition the selection to fit comfortably inside the shape. 
Make the red layer visible and active and click on the layer mask. Go to Fill and slide it to zero. Double click on the red layer to call up its layer style. Click on Bevel and Emboss and change the style to Emboss. Make the depth 200% and the size 16 pixels. Change the shadow opacity to 40%. Click on Contour and change it to half round. Let's add a couple of ornamental flourishes to our wax seal. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of this layer and click on the chain link to unlink the layer mask with its layer. Click on the layer mask and drag it to the trash. This window will pop up. Press Delete. Call up your custom shape tool and click on the arrow next to the shape. Click on the inside arrow to open up your list of shape presets. Click on All and then click Append. Let's choose this shape. Press Shift as you click and drag out the shape. Open the Paths panel and right click Work Path. Click Make Selection. Make sure the feather radius is zero and click OK. The Work Path is now a selection. Click on the Layers tab and click on the Layer Mask button. This made a layer mask in the shape of the ornament. Double click on Bevel and Emboss to open up this effect in the layer style window and reduce the size from 16 pixels to 11. Click on the layer mask to make it active and with your move tool you can move the ornament to any position you'd like. Let's copy this ornament and place it here. With the ornament layer active press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy. Click off the chain link and click on the layer mask to make it active. Click on the ornament and move it to the other position. Let's rotate this around. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool and go to a corner. When you see this double curved arrow, drag it clockwise or counterclockwise to rotate the transform on its axis. Then press Enter or Return. To reposition it, just click on it and move it. Using these techniques, you have infinite possibilities to customize your own wax seal with different colors, shapes, fonts, and ornaments. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.